Hi there, Gaz here from the UK Angling and I'm here to show you a little bit about trotting the stick float. Now I'm fishing on the River Ouse at the moment in Milton Keynes and I thought I'd just show you a few tips and tricks on what to do, some of the kit you might need um, and how to go about it. So to start with, I'm fishing, you might be able to see it in shot, a 13 foot match rod. I, I like a, a long rod like this because when I'm running the float downstream, especially if I'm fishing from the bank and not in the water, um, it gives you that extra reach so you can keep the, the bait running in the, the, the right kind of crease that you found um, and just having that extra reach makes that easier so you can adjust um, you know, how far across the bank you're actually reaching. Um, and then real, uh, this is just a, um, it's a Shakespeare actually I think it is, uh, it's just a small match style reel, you don't need anything mega expensive or anything too big and on that I've got six pound mainline. On to the business end, now what I've got here, I've got a, this is a 2x4 alloy shouldered stick float. Um, you, if you're fishing where there's quite fast water, you want something with a really thin body. Um, and then if you're fishing slow water, you maybe want like a loafer style float so you can catch a bit more speed. But this, because this is quite thin, it cuts through the water and slows it down. And I've attached this using two um, float rubbers, one at the top, one at the bottom. And as you go down the line, I've just got two number four shot quite near the hook. And I'm using a size 14 hook. I find that kind of avoids the really small fish but it gives you half a chance if you hook into something a little bit bigger. So clothing wise I always go with a peaked cap and a pair of polarizing glasses so it keeps the glare off of the water especially if it's sunny. Today it's a bit cloudy but the, the sun's popped out a couple of times and that's really helped keeping the visibility of the float and the only other thing I like to bring is like a, a bait pouch that you can attract, attach to your waist and I've got all my bait my maggots in here so while I'm feeding the swim I literally just reach down chuck them out and haven't got to worry about having a bait box knocking about and being tipped over on the floor or anything like that nice and easy so how do i approach this session well what i do is i'll i'll fish the most upstream peg i have access to um, and work my way downstream throughout the day that means any bait that i put in at the top is going to end up going downstream and will be feeding fish further down and getting them ready for me um, so what i do while i'm setting up my rods um, i'll be flicking out half a dozen maggots or so every 30 seconds into the swim that first swim get it fed up i won't I won't start fishing until it's been fed regularly for at least about 10-15 minutes. Uh, that feeds off some of the small shellfish, um, gets some of the bigger fish in and interested, so you've got half a chance of catching slightly bigger fish from the off. Um, the only other thing I would also suggest doing is trying to find a nice crease where the faster water and the slower water kind of where that, where that divide is, because you find that's the natural conveyor belt. Fish will sit in that slow water and wait for the fast food to just kind of come away from that, that fast flow and they'll jump in and out and pick bits of food up um, and that seems to work really well so find that difference between fast and slow water and try and fish that crease. little dace. Should be plenty more where that came from. Let's get him back. Second species of the day I've got this lovely little roach and we'll get this guy back and we'll catch some more. Now after feeding off some of those smaller fish, I've just had a, a nice chub. 
it's probably scraper a pound if I'm lucky, but they're starting to feed, the bigger fish. What I tend to do now is if I do catch a chub, I don't put it back directly in the swim. I'll probably walk this fish down a swim further downstream and get rid of it there so it doesn't spook the other fish. Here we have the fourth species of the session. Nice little perch, in great condition. Took that bait down straight on that crease where I'm fishing. Just obviously he's there trying to catch anything that's running downstream in that main float. He's just sitting on the edge being clever, um, but not clever enough for me. So the perch are getting a bit bigger. This sometimes happens when you get all the small fish feeding up in a big ball. The predators soon come along, so hopefully we'll catch a few bigger ones. Here's a little tip for you, especially when you, when you start catching small chub. Uh, put them in the net right in the edge of the water rather than actually putting them straight back in and letting them swim away because they quite often spook the shoal. But if you manage to just keep them in the margins um, and keep them away from the other fish, then you can sometimes bag a few more. And you can see here I caught three on the bounce very quickly doing that. Well, that's the end of my session. Um, I caught loads of roach, dace, perch and chub and I've had a fantastic morning's fishing. Um, don't forget, if you like these kind of videos, to like the UK Angling Facebook page, and we'll see you in the next video.